All right, welcome on back, folks, to another episode of Dragon's Dogma. All right, so we did go through and do uh, a bunch of the side quests that you pick up over at the inn. Uh, right when you walk in, there is a little quest board to the right. I grabbed all that and uh, completed what we could. Um, but we do have two that we can't do yet, so we are ready. Just continue on the main mission, um, which we did. Obviously, you can tell we did uh, get some better gear. Um, actually, go through that real quick. So let's see. I don't not the best place to hear about equipment. Uh, so we did get this hat, which gave us. A little bit better like defense and stuff um one that really mattered was shoulder cape the shoulder cape did increase our um our stamina from like six six thirty five to like six seventy five so that is sitting pretty good oh yeah we are ready to head west and then after doing all of that we're doing all that side stuff um we actually got up to level six already come here bunny you're a good way to get money early <laughs> yeah but if you see the bunnies you might as well kill them and hope that you get rabbit pelts the animals of the field are a good source of meat yes they are and money they're a good source of meat and money It's actually kind of a doesn't seem like it's a big difference in stamina, but just sprinting, I can tell it's it's a decent decent uh, amount that we gained. Ooh, there we go. Got some money back. No, I'm not so broke. All right, Rook, lead the way. Well met, sir, prisoner. Can you hear our voice? Yes. We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Pray, forgive this strange and impersonal greeting. This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen. For they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an Arisen in truth, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats, and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self-improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Pray, show it now. Okay. If memory serves, I think we just got here and head left. The beast comes! Hurry! I did buy a bunch of bunch of here. I I, I forgot. I gotta give you give you uh, some. I'll give you nine. Uh, I'll give you eight because you just picked up picked up a few. Dangerous monsters lurk in the water. Tread there lightly, if at all. It's a Cyclops. Oh, oh damn. All right. 
Oh, jeez. Yes, dude. Attack his toes. It's the only part that's weird. Weird about the control scheme I got going on. It's like to do my skill with the bow, it just throws me right into the skill with the melee. Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab your butt cheeks. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a I'm just a dingleberry. Keep shooting him in the eyeball. He doesn't like it. <laughs> oh man, I had a couple shots right in the eyeball. <laughs> Insert Edge Lord. Hey, jerk. Try to pick that up. Head back in. I think we go back. This ball, located in the command headquarters of the encampment, provides many different support functions to adventurers. Speak with him to rest, heal your wounds, learn and enable useful weapon skills, or store excess items. I think that's him right there. With that, your trial is complete. You are the arisen in truth, proven beyond any doubt. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone to share in your hardships and aid you in every endeavor. Okay, so I believe we get to create our other pawn or our pawn. Uh, yes. Let's go male. Let's name him Biggest Dickus. Oh, I, I can't do that. I, I just can't. We'll, we'll name him. We'll name him Cloud. Oh, monk here. Or moniker, whatever you want to call it. Um, Unley. <laughs> hmm. What about Ooh, magnets? Yeah, what about R? Ooh. Ain't no more. Actually, you know what? Let's change that. Can I change this? Yeah. Just, just keep it, keep it that all the way. All right. So.
No, I don't want to edit the name. Stop. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Base body. Let's go to this one. Yeah, I don't care too much about his voice. Hairstyle. Okay, so I plan on making him a maid. So, that being said, he needs either long hair or crazy hair. Looks like Kylo Ren. any of them not for him I'm about to just go with something like that how about that yeah let's do that uh, but hairstyle their color Let's let's go. Go black. Base shape. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Honestly, we're just gonna stick with the that that one. Eyes. Same thing, we're, we're gonna stick with four. Um, eye color though. I'm gonna go red. Make him look evil. Brows. Uh. Ooh. Did we make him look evil? Make him look demonic? I actually like those. What color? Black. Nose. I think the nose actually, the nose and the mouth both fit the face well, I like. I like that. Um, I want him to be a little taller. There. To there. Okay, that works too. And you're gonna be a wizard, so hasty. Change any of that. Is there a way to add? Features, ah, facial hair, there we go. It's a little too much. 
Ooh, there we go. Don't need any of that. I'm not gonna mess with any of that. Honestly, I am happy. He is named Raiden. Okay, when faced with danger, which trait would you most value in a follower? Quick thinking. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower employ? Kill all enemies, rescue comrades in danger, strike at the strongest foe. Mm, rescue comrades in danger just because you're gonna be a mage so you're like oh or strike mm. let's go strike at the strongest foe your follower rescues your party and turns the title of the entire battle what would you have them say this way master leave them to me now master strike the final blow quickly after them let's go with quickly after them I never, I normally always did leave them to me or now master strike the final blow. We're gonna go quickly after them. As a tr as a ruler, which gift would you or would please you the most? A magic potion that preserves youth, brave and just hero to succeed you, the perfect spouse, majestic white steed. Oh, I guess we're going with that one. Um, that's not what I wanted, but anyway, uh, mage, you are a mage. And then we will we will get rid of Rook when we can and get a tank. Our fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the legions men call pawns live and die by your command. Pretty cool. Level 2, Raiden. Having been recognized as Arisen, you have been granted a loyal pawn to be your constant companion in your journey. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventures. Different pawns have different strengths, so use support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. In addition to minding level and available skills, a pawn's knowledge is another important part of creating an effective party. Pawns with appropriate knowledge of quests or foes can provide helpful advice and battle strategies. Ah, a master and his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't get a choice in the in the in the matter. <laughs> All right, so some training. The men of the enlistment, let me be clear from the outset. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you... There are other pawns here. The first task is carrying freight. You're free to choose your company, but the... Many hands, light, will begin at your task is to... Okay, so we have to carry all of that to the spot, I think? He's going there. Uh, 
Uh, how do we pick it up? There it is. F. Dang, Raiden. Raiden's taking off. I think there was only four, right? Yeah, you know, one, two, three. Brooke's just not getting over there. Man, look at him. Smart fella. Enough! Well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll... Next is combat training. You'll face my scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. A large group will be of help again. But you must choose your companions wisely. A company all doing the same thing is... We'll begin. You'll set about destroying scare... This last one, if it's right, the same thing, but one has weakness to magic and one has weakness to sword. To challenge even a seasoned warrior. Well thank you. Done. Thank you. Thank You'll you very much. Thank you training. very much. See now the difference. Well selected. You'll learn the rest from action. If your strategies seem toothless against your foes, try changing your party makeup, enabled skills, and equipment. And that almost got him caught up to us. I think I'm level six. Well Alright, let's do our skills. Yeah, we got what? Uh, 23 minutes, we might as well. That time doing our skills. Have all you need? We are an end first and foremost. We can safeguard your feet. Have your pick. Any you like. What Learn or today? set skills. Learn skills. Let's start with. Start with the uh, right in. Uh, let's get you. Honestly, I kind of want to make you support. So. Let's get you. I want to get the boons first. Like Fire Boon, Ice Boon, Thunder Boon. Get those first. And for me, I have a bunch of points. Ah, uh, broad range flurry of dagger blows. Situated with a fierce kick. Forms a swift and deadly double strike forward. Topped off with a whirling slash. That sounds cool. Requires less time to knock the next. Ooh. Extends the limit of your stamina, enables you to clamber up cliffs and other terrain more quickly. Ooh, those are. Um, dagger. Let's go ahead and grab Biting Wind. Steps in with Blade Strike that sends the target aloft. Additional button presses throw and detonate a store of powder. As through the air while spinning, blades extended, especially effective when performed from high places. 
Cast out cords to snare lightweight foes, pulling them to the ground and incapitate them. Our three arrows in a wedge pattern. Draws the bow with all the user's might, then looses a shot straight ahead. Sends a wall of arrows skyward to right. You, you, you definitely need that. If you're gonna... I honestly want to get. I don't want to get the endurance. Or save up for Helm Splitter. I think I'm going to save up for Helm Splitter. Okay. The fighting wind. A burst volley. Secondary. Iron boon. Ice boon. What will it be today? Have your pick. A new line. Come again soon. Yes. We will get those later. All right, now I. Well, wait, hold on. Can I leave? I don't leave. I want to leave the rift real quick because I want to get to whatever the heck he is holding first. I think I went to it. Yeah, I could it. Rock kindling. Take oh you can't I don't think you can. I was gonna say can you take his gear like his gear and then like go and sell it? Be funny. Alright, so I think we got everything that we need off of him. Because I don't want to run too many. So rook I want to get rid of. And I do want a melee. Um, we have beetle. Yes, arisen. Few details. Strength one fifty four. Very strength one nineteen. Rock cut, blink strike, guild summons. Yes, Arisen. If you should ever need anything, yes, Arisen. Home. Oh. Big. Was I see four? One percent to lightning resistance, husk toss, it summons. Yes, Arisen. If you should ever need anything else, do not hesitate to let me know. Okay, well, okay, well, I'll come back. I'll come back. But 
think that will be a good place to wrap up. We got our skills, we got our pawn, and uh, yeah, we are ready to continue on, which we will do in the next episode. So thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys next time.